Okay guys, we gotta get on this. The um, educational psych assignment is due tomorrow and we haven't started. I can't believe it's due tomorrow. But what are we doing again? Yeah, what? Guys, we've been over this a hundred times. We're doing Piaget's four stages of development. Which are? Sensory motor. Okay. Pre-operational. Mm -hmm. Concrete operational. Mm -hmm. And formal operational. And how are we actually going to do that? Yeah, we have to have learning objectives, right? Okay, so you're right. Are, what are Backwards design. <laughs> Backwards design. No, so like we have to identify Piaget's four stages and like okay. I guess the characteristics of each. So that would be the so first that's the main one. one. Okay. Yeah, that's a pretty clear one. But I think we should also mention the limitations to the stages. Yeah, limitations of the theory is always good. Okay, so that's the second. And what's the third one? Because we have to have three. Um, we need to understand how learning develops at each stage and how they're related. Okay, so that's easy. Uh, so sense of the overall process. Yeah. Ah. yeah. Okay. But how are we going to do this? I got it. Let's make a movie. I think a movie is a great idea, but what kind of movie are we going to make? Hmm. Ooh, I have a really good idea for sensory motor. What about documentary style? Characteristics of the sensory motor stage. Let's go. Ah, just what I've been looking for, a human baby. During this stage, a baby begins to develop their major senses, like touch. We can see her doing touching. And movement, she moves the baby. She begins to look at it. And she also begins to develop the sense of taste. Mmm. Now, let's see if she can actually hear. Caca, caca. She responds. Caca. Also caca. during this stage, babies begin to, begin to develop their thinking, caca. their ability for memory, and their ability caca. to imitate. So fascinating. Fascinating. So fascinating. Ah, right here we see another part of the sensory motor stage. This is where the baby is displaying reflexive reactions, or reflex, reflex actions. Eventually, the baby will begin to develop goal-directed actions. Fantastic! As you can see, the baby is beginning to try to put the apron on her doll. I'll help her out. Here, baby, let me help you. Oh, baby! Thunderstorms, too. Oh, almost done, ah, baby. Almost. Ah, there you go, baby. Whew, that was a little intense. Here, we see that the baby has actually developed object permanence. I took the doll from her and tried to fix it for her, but I hid it from her. The baby still knew that the doll existed because she has developed object permanence. Great job, baby. 
Thanks for joining us on Anna's Wild World of Educational Psychology. On our next episode, we're going to look at Jean Piaget's second stage of cognitive development, the pre-operational stage. We'll see you next time. Who's a good baby? Who's a good baby? Oh! Mm, I don't know if that's gonna work. Somebody got a better idea? Well, I'm thinking for the pre-operational stage, it's about language, right? Language and making symbolic forms, and you really have difficulty understanding what someone else is thinking. So I'm thinking an art form. La deuxième étape de Piaget, clé opérationnelle, âge 2 à 7. Les enfants viennent de vivre dans l'étape sensiromotrice. Détecter. Bouger. Il est encore difficile pour l'enfant de penser à l'arrière, à cette étape. Les enfants s'amusent et ils utilisent leur imagination de plus en plus. Ils travaillent à créer une signification symbolique. Utiliser une langue pour créer des formes symboliques. Mots. Signes. Ils ne peuvent pas comprendre le point de vue de l'autre. Ils sont trop jeunes pour faire des liens logiques, mais ils commencent. Ils ont sont piégés dans l'égocentrisme et voient le monde à partir de leur propre point de vue. Ils peuvent suivre la chaîne de l'action, mais dans une direction seulement. Ils ne peuvent pas se rappeler le passé. Il ne peut pas planifier l'avenir. Mais il construit vers quelque chose. Leur voyage continue. Il doit utiliser leur pression et se développer et entrer la troisième étape de Piaget. I got a great idea. We'll take stage three and we'll spoof Tarantino and we'll spoof Memento at the same time. I'm gonna do a whole Django Unchained spoof. I'm not sure that's gonna work, Zach. No, trust me, I'll make it work. Mm, but what if nobody's seen it? Like, they won't get the references or anything. Then they'll have no idea what's going on. Django! Django, have you always been alone? Django! Django, have you never loved again? Love will live on, oh, life must go on, oh, for you cannot spend your life regretting. Django! <laughs> I was five and he was six We rode on horses made of sticks He wore black and I wore white He would always win the fight Bang, bang, he shot me down Bang, bang all right, Bang. we're almost there. Please sit down. All right, have some water. Geez, Zach, are you okay? I don't, no, I don't. I don't remember. I don't know who you are. I don't know who I am. I've lost all my memory. Zach, Zach, it's Anna. Do you remember the concrete operational stage? No, I don't know what the hell that is. We learned it in psych class. So I'm, I'm in a psych class. I think your injury has gotten you stuck in the concrete operational stage. What are you talking about? What does being stuck in the concrete operational stage even mean? It means you can understand the physical world logically. You can develop a logical system for understanding the relationship between physical objects. For instance, you should be able to understand the concept of identity. Identity? But we just talked about that. I don't know who I am, who you are. I have no concept of identity right now. No, no, no. 
Identity just refers to the fact that materials stay the same if nothing is added or taken away. So for instance, uh, your wallet. Your oh, wallet okay. is still your wallet as long as it hasn't been changed, like colored or painted. So you should be able to recognize it if you see it. Oh, okay. So maybe if I get my wallet back, it'll trigger my memories and I can find out who I am. That's what I'm thinking. So let's understand what's being stuck in the concrete operational stage means. That way we can use the abilities you have left to find the culprit. So one of the things is that you should be able to understand the concept of compensation. Where change in one direction can be compensated for by change in another direction. Okay, uh, okay. okay. Give me the water. Okay. So, yeah, give me the water. So, this amount of water. Right. I'm going to take it, pour it into the cup. Like the class should have the slides as like It's still the same amount of water, right? Oh, I see. Because it's the reduced height is compensated for by the enlarged width. Just because it's wider. So it's yes. the same amount of water, it's but it's sitting at a lower level because it's compensated differently. Exactly. Oh. Exactly. Good job. Okay, thanks. We're getting there. We can find this culprit using these skills? Yes. Okay, cheers. Wait, who am I? Where am I? Remember Piaget? What happened to me? Wait, 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 wait. Are you doing a Django and Chain spoof or are you doing a Memento spoof? Well, why not both? It doesn't make any sense. Well, what does it matter? I mean, it doesn't have to make that much sense. Kiri's a full-grown baby, Anna's dancing around in a weird hat. Uh, like, just let me finish the idea and then you can criticize it. Reversibility. You should be aware of reversibility and be able to mentally cancel out changes made to objects. So if my wallet is missing money or is damaged, I should be able to imagine it the way it was and therefore still recognize it. Yes! Exactly. Classification? Be able to use ca classification. So focus on one characteristic of an object and group it with a bunch of uh, other characteristics. Oh, I see. So that guy was a thief, meaning I can group all other thieves, no matter how different they are, are all in that same category. Exactly. You should, can also use this to make an orderly arrangement of objects. This process is called seriation. So as long as you're tied to physical reality, you should be able to have a complete logical system of thinking to catch this bully. Will finding this thief let me recover my memory? If he still has your wallet, I think he can push you into the fourth and final stage of development, where you were before. Listen, that's apparently some award money for finding out this oisy thief. So what do you say, partner? Let's do it! I use the concrete operational stage and the tattoos on my arms to find the thief. Really? Who is it? This guy. Matt Maltby? I have an idea. What? Let's use Kiri as bait and we can lure him to the scene of the crime and maybe get your wallet back. And my memories. All right, Kiri, you're going to go up there and trap the oisy thief. Remember me? Sorry.
remember you. You took my wallet and stuck me in the fourth stage, the third stage of cognitive development. I know who I am. I'm Zach Fanny. Let's go to educational psychology. All right. Yeah. Django. Django, have you always been alone? Yeah, wouldn't that be awesome, guys? Um, I'm not sure that's going to work, Zach. I think we need something more exciting, like Batman. Oh my, I am outstanding. What a wonderful superhero I am with my excellent abstract thinking skills and be able to coordinate numerous variables. I have clearly reached Piaget's four stage of cognitive development, formal operational stage. I am excellent. Excuse me, sir, but the police chief has called and said Gotham City is under attack. Thank you, Alfred. To the Batmobile! <laughs> I'm going to use my hypothetical deductive reasoning skills to figure out how to handle this evil villain from terrorizing innocent citizens. I'll identify all factors that might influence the problem and then we'll systematically deduce and evaluate how to solve this crisis. Help me, Batman. Stop right there, evil villain! Batman, I knew you'd come. I knew your egocentrism wouldn't keep you away. Actually, egocentricism is a characteristic of Piaget's fourth stage of cognitive development. It impacts adolescents as they are assuming that everybody's interested in their thoughts, feelings, and concerns. They feel as though everybody's watching them. Well, I know everybody's watching me. Hogwash. Clearly, everyone lives in the same environment. There's no need to invent alternate realities. There's only one solution to the problem. Clearly, you have not reached Piaget's fourth stage of cognitive development. Not everyone does because it isn't tied to your physical environment. Most all adults only have deductive reasoning in certain areas because of experience and interest. How dare you accuse me of not reaching Piaget's... include more of the limitations of Piaget's theory? Yeah. yeah, that's a good idea. Like, what about social context? Piaget doesn't really talk about that. I know, we'll ask Vygotsky himself.
way too complicated. Maybe we should just do a boring PowerPoint. Fine. Yeah. Fine.